Hey, I was wondering, did you have another dream again last night? To what dream are you referring? You know, another dream about... them. And about Mew. What brought this up? It's been on my mind lately. You remember seeing how it ended, right? You don't suppose... Mew had children. And they were taken by humans, so now it's trying to parent us in their stead. <sighs> you just jump right to the point, now don't you? There's no sense in dancing around the topic. You were thinking the same thing, were you not? Well, yeah, I was. I was wondering whatever happened to its children. Oh, hello, Mew. I assume you overheard us. If it's not too much to ask, why are you sharing those dreams with us? Do you have an idea on what happened to them? You don't have to answer. Uh, perhaps I overstepped in asking. What? Why are you... Mew, I know it's your way of coping, but... We aren't your children. We only share similar DNA with your species. Look, we can try to help you find out what happened to them if it might give you closure. Certainly. But pretending we are them might not be good for you. Wait, Mew! We should leave it be for now. We said what we needed to. I suppose. but feel we might have started something we shouldn't have with Mew. It's really sticking to this, and something isn't sitting right with me about it. I know you feel the same. Well, feeling regret won't change what happened to Mew or its family. Maybe not. But you offered to look into the matter. Would you have a way to... find out? What might have happened to Mew's offspring? I had a hunch. Knowing their obsession they had with creating me, it was likely to be Team Rocket who took them. There's no mistaking those uniforms in Mew's dreams. But I destroyed the facility I was created in and cleared that island of any evidence I had been there. They don't remember they even made me. What about the lab that made you? I didn't exactly destroy it when I escaped, but I... I can't go back there. My creators are probably still on the search for me. And I can't risk them catching me or finding where I'm hiding. There might be another option. I was kept in a Team Rocket base after the island was raised, but I didn't leave that place in one piece either. However, it is very likely that they didn't do a thorough sweep of the wreckage before they abandoned it. Not like I would have. If I fly there, I might be able to recover something. For Mew's sake, as well as ours. <sighs> it's not a guarantee. But it could be a start.
Well, that's an entry I'm not eager to see again. But it doesn't surprise me, at least. Still searching? Is Mew back yet? I might as well show this much to it. Perhaps it'll be enough to convince it to move on from this. No. I'm not sure where Mew went, but I suspect it won't be back for a while. I assume this is Mom, then? Funny. But this is the fossil used in my creation. Yes. Fascinating. What about you? Were you ever told where you came from? My... creators weren't really ones for idle chit-chat with me. But the word clone was tossed around enough times? The usual for us, I'm sure. But what about Mew? Anything at all about what happened to it or its family? Nothing at all. I think Mew is just- Wait! Stop skimming! What's this? Insufficient material? If that was what they used, why is it labeled insufficient- It doesn't mean anything strange. How can you be so sure? A lone fossil has gaps in the DNA sequence. That's why we're genetically modified clones. That's... all. I found a hard drive! Just throw it on the pile, Ash. But this one seems different. It's cut in half, but I don't think your explosion did it. Like, whatever's on it was probably something they didn't want folks seeing, you know? I mean... You look into it, right? Because if anyone could fix this, it's you, of course. This could have all the answers or something. Maybe, but... You'll do it, though, won't you? It's for Mew. <sighs> I suppose it is. We'll go look for more! You're the best, Mewtwo! And just what were they planning to do with this? Mew and Mewtwo will be right back after these messages. Yesterday, I asked you, what's the rock for? Here are your best answers. Oh boy. Put the rock in the blender and eat it like cereal. Cereal, cereal doesn't work like that. But what if blend the rock? Then, <laughs> sorry, I gotta read this right. But what if blend the rock? Then crunch the rock. No, no, it, it becomes powder. If he no munch rock, teleport rock in tummy. That's that's one way to feed a kid who doesn't want to eat his dinner. I I know I didn't want to. Plot twist. I eat the rock and Mewtwo is saved. Mine. What is happening? The world's most powerful Pokémon, afraid of strings of data. <sighs> Redacted. Entry number one. I've been tasked to study this Mew closely, learn its patterns, 
its habits. Oh, I'm so excited to be able to observe such a rare Pokemon is a privilege. My supervisor said that this will be a way to get a better understanding of not only the new species, but possibly its connection to other Pokemon. After all, it is said to hold the DNA of every other Pokemon out there. Fresh out of the apprenticeship and studying the elusive Mew, I must be dreaming. Entry number two. If it weren't for the numerous trackers and cameras they planted, I'd never be able to get a glimpse of it. It's so fast! It also doesn't seem to have any home base. It just goes where it goes. Entry number three. Wow. You sure do eat a lot. Entry number four. No sighting. Entry number five. No sighting. Entry number six. I was beginning to think I'd moved on. I almost got fired for it, even. But was I ever relieved to see that Mew again after a year and a half of nothing? Supervisor says research isn't going well. Won't say what. That is neat to know. But I hope I can recover something special for them. After all, this is for the betterment of Pokemon. Entry number seven. Mew's habits were always so erratic, but recently that started changing. Now it seems to keep returning to one area we've triangulated. There's a lot of food and fresh water, so I guess it wants to settle down for something. Didn't think that was possible, honestly. Entry number eight. Something's not right with it. It's far less energetic now. It's stopping to rest in the mapped area for longer and longer. It's also eating more often. I guess that explains why it looks like its torso is getting wider. Entry number nine. I don't believe it. Science jargon aside, it's not like I've been that formal anyways, but who cares? I didn't know this was possible. It's so rarely seen with legendaries as it is, but a mythical, like a new giving birth? This changes so much what we know about this species. We had to use a remote camera to get a glimpse, but we used the twins at some point in the night. It wasn't even eggs either. Entry number 10. I could watch these baby mews all day. So glad it's my job. This is a once in a lifetime. Heck, maybe more experience and I'm not wasting a moment of it. Not only that, but the higher-ups are really excited about this too. I can't wait to see them grow up. Entry number 11. Boss is calling me into a meeting, so I didn't have much observation today. I'll have to make up for that tomorrow. And entry number 13. simply too unstable to create a viable clone. 
Not with so many gaps. Not even when we fill them with other species. I'm afraid the project is doomed to stay a pipe dream. No matter how many years we've invested in it. February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named each newborn Mew 2. None of us had stock in that intern, blabbering on about what Mew likes to eat. But discovery has been made. I pride myself as a scientist, a respectable Pokemon researcher. But I suppose I surrendered my right to call myself respectable when I agreed to join this project. The fossil wasn't enough. But the infants... Embryos would have been preferred, but we didn't have a hope of catching it before it delivered. An extraction team will be deployed within the next 24 hours. We will do what we must. In the name of this scientific breakthrough, we will see this project to the end. We will have our view too. I will not fail again. You do stop. What's going on? You can't just ignore us. We can't help you if you don't tell us. What did you find out? What Mew told us. It's true. About its children. They really were stolen? Stolen and used. The fossils were deemed a failure. But infant Mews have all the material twisted individuals could ever need. You couldn't possibly mean- You're intelligent. I'm sure you can figure out what I mean. You do. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're sorry? Well, thank you, Ash. That apology will fix everything that's happened. It's as if I haven't been lied to my entire life about just being some clone fossil. Just when I think humans can't sink any lower. They would go so far as to abduct infant muse and subject them to those <sighs> horrific gene splicing experiments. Whatever it takes to get their living weapons, even if it costs innocent lives, feeding us lies to keep us under their heels. Why am I even acting like I'm surprised? You too. This is also your fault! You knew about this all along. From the very first moment you saw me on New Island! You knew exactly what I really was, but you did nothing! Why didn't you protect us? You're supposed to be an all-powerful Pokémon! But you just let them take us! But no. You just pretended I was inferior as we battled. And then, you had the nerve to mother us, as if that would erase your failure! That's enough! Don't throw all of this on Mew! Take your hand off me! Uh, all right then. This is how it's going to be. We're taking this to somewhere more remote! to keep discussing this. 
Not rationally. And I will not allow you to take this out on the others. So, you are going to let this anger out on someone who can take it. Come at me with everything you have. You think you're in any position to give me orders? I don't recall giving you a choice in this. You are not penting it up this time. Now fight me! Get you stuck. How did that get over here? Huey. We'll find them and talk some sense into them both. You'll see. They won't be mad forever. You keeping up, Mew? Hmm. Let's keep going. yourself for my sake. You think this is all just for your sake? I was also robbed of my life and made an abomination just like you.
The wounds are all superficial, thankfully. Nothing they can't recover from. Though the one was severely dehydrated, the IV will take care of that. I'm glad the treatment was manageable, Ash. Despite never having seen this species before, who happened to be living right under my nose... Come on, Professor. I told you why. They don't like humans. Mm-hmm. I did find it curious that you were so insistent I leave my coat off for this house call. Just how deep does this fear of humans go? It's bad. It's really bad. They were... Well, they were hurt by humans. Humans in white coats and sign slabs. And what happened really messed up their lives from what they should have been. Honestly, Professor, I probably wouldn't have even have called you if I didn't think it was so serious. They got in a fight after something they learned about themselves. Their names... Mewtwo... is certainly telling. The extent of human greed... is disheartening. But I'm happy to see that there is at least a small handful of humans who they trust. And you won't tell anyone about them, right? I would so love to study them to learn about their species, but I understand why they wish to keep to themselves. Don't you worry, my boy. Your secret is safe with me. such a brave boy for mommy, Huey. Are you going to take those berries to her? Yeah, Huey's brave for mommy. Huey's, Huey's brave, brave for mommy. mommy. Huey's, Huey's a, a brave, brave boy. boy. Huey has berries. Sweet berries for sad tummy. Hmm. That's very nice of you. Uh... Are you okay, baby? He always pray for mom. No, no, don't cry. Please don't cry. You're very brave. You, you is not brave. You is so scared. It's okay to be scared. You shouldn't have seen any of that fight. And I'm so sorry you did. I'm going to be just fine. So is Uncle. We only need a bit more rest, okay? Can Huey help us get better? Huey can help us get better. 
can help? How? Just keep being yourself. Huey hugs can cure about any hurt Mama has. <laughs> Huey gives brave <laughs> Huey hug. Maybe a bit more gentle with that, please. I made some tea for you. Green tea, this time. You haven't touched any of them. Mm. You were treated for dehydration not 72 hours ago, and you're reverting already. You can't be serious. I guess I am. Fine. Then I'll go tell Mew to handle this, if you won't take care of yourself. Why is it that once again, you seem completely unfazed by these recent events? Doesn't it bother you at all? can't afford to be. I have a child to think of. So you continue to insist that I cannot bottle my feelings. But because you have a child, it exempts you from that rule. I guess you got me there. Do you really blame you for what happened? I don't know. I just think, as a mother, if something ever happened to... Well, I don't know what I'd do. But I'd never let it happen willingly. I don't know what to think anymore. But you know it couldn't have possibly let Team Rocket take us them out of malice you saw how scared Mew always looked after those nightmares how reluctant it was to tell us at all logically it would make no sense for it to just hand them over to humans i know that and yet despite what i've seen i can't exactly look at Mew and see a parental figure 
I look and I'm reminded of our encounter on New Island. But it looked at me like I was a non-entity. Nothing I did was of any consequence to the almighty Mew. The way it said to me, real is real. If you fight without special powers, the clones cannot beat the originals. We were nothing but inferiors. And after that fight ended, even after settling our differences, Mew left me with the clones I had created, never to be seen again. At least until we arrived here all together, when out of nowhere it decides it wants to parent the both of us like nothing had ever happened. Like it could pretend nothing ever happened. I guess I can see why that would upset you. But... At least Mew went to go find you. What? I know I shouldn't feel this way at all. Of course Mew wouldn't find me. I was in a different region entirely. And yet, it still hurts when I think about it. I'm not going to tell you what you should be feeling about all this. It's not like I'm in any position to do that. But you were the one who said feeling regret won't change what happened to me or its family. I think this is something you should be discussing with Mew. Just... me? <sighs> I can't begin to imagine how much they had to suffer. What you saw in those notes. Do you... Do you really think we're them? Or are we just using their reanimated remains? I cannot say for sure. We don't retain any memories of that life. I, I just... I don't know how much more of this I can take. Every time I've been so sure of who I am at last, I've been wrong. What more can happen now? At least whatever more can happen, you aren't at it alone. When all is said and done, we are blood. Not just from being the same species. Face's tummy is talking. Here we get berries for Uncle Face? Uh, I can take care of that later. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Huey has Uncle's scarf. My scarf? I thought I lost that back in the woods. Huey keep it safe for Uncle till Uncle gets better. Thanks. so sad, but Dewey don't know why. Uncle is really sad. Maybe it's cause Uncle is hungry? Mama says Huey gets cranky when hungry. I envy your naivety. Everything is so cut and dry for you, isn't it? Everything has an easy solution. If only life were as simple as you see it. Uncle is still sad? Uncle has sad eye. But it's okay to be sad. 
Mama says it's okay to have sad eye. Uncle can be sad now, okay? Then Uncle can be happy again later. There he is. I was wondering where he'd gotten off to. Hmm. You aren't going to ask why I'm so out of character holding him again? I'll let it slide. Now, seriously, go drink something. Or I'll put that ivy back in myself. I'm not trained in medicine, so you won't like how I do it. Is it always this child? I love the mental image of either of them getting a note with a compliment on it and just shoving the entire thing into their mouths. You look like you needed to hear something nice today. You look really nice today? Bakes New to a chocolate cake with chocolate chips in it. Happy birthday, New to! <sighs> Damn, New to really does have her mom's bottomless pit stomach. Can we get a disappointed Mewtwo just staring at Mewtwo either while she was eating or after she's passed out? Lol. Uh, uh, huh. Places a pink blanket over Mewtwo with a card that says, Happy Belated Birthday. Alas, I hardly knew her. If I wasn't too full to move... I'd thrash you right now. I kinda want to do the gentle little tappities that you do to babies' bellies that make them laugh like crazy to Huey. I want to see that baby to do the baby laughs, but I do not want to risk the mother's wrath. He'll love it, trust me. Hee <laughs> 
Imagine new two trying to carry Teen Huey the exact same way she did when he was a cute baby. <laughs> oh, come on, Mom. What would Huey, Louie, and Dewey personalities be? Huey would be like his mother, Louie would be much like Uncle Vase, and Dewey being a little ball of energy like Grand Mew. New Too soon will join her children in their symphony, and then Grandma Mew will come to the rescue. <laughs> the picture of Mewtwo being chased and overrun by a group of Baby Twos fills me with immense joy. With all the baby twos, I'm just imagining new two scruffing Huey by the mouth. Wait, I thought when people touch or grab the two's second neck, they go limp. Gently and very carefully puts a clothespin on Mewtwo's second neck tube thingy. Humans, I am sparing your lives for the moment. That sketch line under his eyes looks like a mouth, and now I can't unsee it. I've battled gods, Mewtwo. Tonight, one of you will betray us. Is it me, Arceus? No, it's not you. Is it me, Arceus? It's not you either. Is it me, Arceus? Is it me, Arceus? That's you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, Mr. I don't need the limbs that my father gave me. You had the opportunity to evolve even further by being in an entirely new dimension. You had the chance to evolve into monkey and you evolved into crab. You had unlimited power over the afterlife and you decided to get rid of your legs. I didn't even give you an accent when I created you. You just stayed in Galar for like two hours and then suddenly you're Galarian. You centipede looking piece of I don't stay in heaven because I'm afraid of my own creation. I am ashamed of my creation. If I had a mouth, I'd spit on you. You are the reason why I stay in Pokemon Heaven. Your brothers had kids. Palkia got a genie and Dialga grew onions. I don't even know how that's possible. Weird rain. That looks like hail to me. Wanna play with hail? Sorry, but I don't think that is a good idea. Hail is hard like ice. But Huey wanna! Hmm. Well, I guess when you put it that way. Go ahead. Yeah! Play in hail! But hail is mean. Oh, I promise I take no enjoyment in this, sweet pea. 
shortly after Huey's birth. You can come up with a crazy epic excuse for why Ryolu is not in the comics right now. Like he's off on his own adventure at the moment. Ryolu is on a field trip with Kyogre. Since evolving, my aura sense has heightened significantly. And upon reflection, I now realize that your aura is not evil. I regret that I acted so immaturely and impulsively against you upon first glance, and now see that you have simply been troubled by your past and is worn in your spirit. I'd like to apologize for my previous actions, and I hope I can make up for what I've done. Well, I appreciate that you came to me about this. So I would like to tell you... <laughs> now we're even. That's... fair! Time sure does fly, doesn't it? It's almost your birthday. So I'm told from Ash. What's a birthday, Mom? Well, in a few days, it will have been exactly a year since the day you were born. What's so special about that? It's certainly special for your family who loves you. In fact, we celebrate that with gifts and cake. <gasps> cake? Remember how much cake I got? On your birthday, you can eat as much cake as you want. Mom, I want cake! <laughs> a few days later. Gives Huey a birthday cake. Happy birthday, little dude. Also, Balloon happy emote. birthday, Huey. Party poppy birthday, Huey. Present emote. Present emote. It is your birthday, Huey. Happy birthday, Huey. Happy birthday, Huey. Check it, Mochi. Birthday, poppy, Huey. Birth. Extras. Getting a drink of water before bed, Huey? I think I'm gonna sleep over there now. You sure? It might be stormy tonight. Even if it is, I can do this! I'm gonna be a whole year old now! Oh, okay then. Good night! Good night. instead. Oh, uh, sure. Go ahead. Okay, see you later. <sighs> you should just speak to him, if you feel like you're missing his company. Oh, is it that easy? Hmm? Tell me, how was your plan on talking to Mew going? How many months ago was that incident again? I'll just butt out. Mew. Uh... Get on with it. <sighs> I 
need to ask you something. On Miu Island, when we faced each other in battle, did you know? Did you know who I was? I see. Why it's still Not now. Lucario, do you want the ball? It's very easy to test who is the most cat like. Simply place an empty box near all of them and whoever gets in it the fastest is the winner. You already took my spot on the sofa! You can't take this one too! How many spots do you need? You don't own every spot! I saw it first this time! You did not, and you know it! Hmm? Uh -huh. um... He dies first. One of these days, Mewtwo will push Mewtwo's face and he'll just bite her hand in retaliation. Call back to his Mew self, XD. I love the image of Mute suddenly awakening in the middle of the night and just going, he bit me as a baby. The f- Censored. What? Okay, now I'm getting the image of Mewtwo seeing the dream of him biting Newt as a Mew and him not only laughing, but saying through the laugh, so history has repeated itself. <laughs> oh no! What happens when Huey or Mewtwo finds out Pikachu used to electrocute Ash on the reg? What do you mean, used to? <laughs> You're getting a little on the chunky side there, eh, Pikachu? <sighs> Don't do this again. <laughs> Why are you even reading beside them? Has Ash ever just walked in to find the twos converting from a solid to a liquid? Does post-birth Huey still like spicy food? Does Huey like spicy things now than when he was in Newtu's stomach? Did Huey inherit Newt's aversion to spice? Huey, be careful with those. They can be really spicy. Mm, yeah, it's okay, I guess. But not my favorite berry. Fine. More for me. <clears throat> But none of you have any taste. It's hard to taste for all, though. Your mother has corrupted you with her sweets. Tomato berries corrupted you! Where did you get this tolerance? Bleh. I made you! Is it strange that I'm not concerned at all about this, seeing he'd probably walk away from that without a scratch? And seeing you aren't one to often start conversations, I suspect you want to give me a talking to again. How much longer do you plan on moping around like this? I thought I told to you- To butt out and talk to Mew already? Maybe so, but when are you going to talk to Mew? You've been avoiding this as well. 
and it's very evident that your feelings of abandonment, my Mew, are carrying over to your feelings about your son growing up. My feelings of... You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't I? I remember what you told me those months ago. About how Mew never went to look for you as it did for me. Those emotions don't just go away. You are quite aware of that, I'm sure. And now that he's growing up and depends on you less, you feel left behind once more, just like you do with Mew. You'll deny it and say you're doing fine, but I know you aren't. Since when did you become such an empath? I suppose you could call it returning the favor. Look, maybe I do have those feelings, but regardless, I can't stifle Huey's independence. You know as well as I that it's especially important for Mewtwo to have that. He's not a baby anymore, and I can't treat him like one. If I tell him that his mommy still needs to be there to hold his hand, he'll feel guilty. Maybe so, but I don't believe you're giving your child enough credit. You think he won't notice how off you've been acting? Maybe you do have a point. And I'll think about it. And Mew? Huey is one thing, but I know Mew feels terrible enough regarding what happened to us, and with what happened in that fight. There's no use in making it feel worse. Past experience tells me, and what you and everyone else tend to remind me, is that trying to preserve others' happiness at the expense of your own doesn't pan out well for anyone. You're right. I should discuss what happened with Mew. But when I do, you'll need to be with us. No. This is a matter between the both of you. You're the one that has the history on New Island. I don't. <laughs> This is a matter between Mew and its children. You are one of its children. I guess I never thought about how much damage we did here. Yes. I suppose we should get to it then. We've both been avoiding this, but I think it's time we heard your side of the story. I want to know why you did what you did on New Island, and why you left afterwards. We'll hear you out. I promise I won't react violently like I did before. Yes, you've waited long enough. Well, you know how it started. When you were taken from me by those humans, I didn't know I was being watched by them. I didn't expect to be ambushed. I could barely think of what to do to save you before everything went black. When I came to, it must have been some time later as your scent was long gone. Everyone's scent was. I couldn't even find signs of the intruders. They didn't want me. They only wanted you. I don't know why. I didn't care why. I only cared about getting you back. So I searched. And searched. I searched for so long, but... I never found you. I never once felt the connection we had. 
It was as if he vanished from existence. After that, I couldn't feel much of anything but exhaustion. So I went to sleep for a long time. I was woken up again when I sensed your storm. And I was so happy. I knew it was one of you. I didn't know how or why, but I was so excited to find you that I didn't care. So, when we met on New Island, I didn't know what to expect. But it certainly wasn't this. So, if you knew who I was from the start, then why did you still fight me? I don't have a good excuse for my actions. At the time I was angry. The baby I thought I found was gone and this Mewtwo was an imposter using its body. It wasn't until after our clash that I realized how wrong I was about you. You were just hurting and lost. I should have tried harder to reach out to you, not put you down. That's why I left you alone with your clones of the healing spring after. I guess I needed some time to take everything in. But I promised it wasn't out of spite. I never stopped thinking about you. Is that why you never came searching for me? Did you even try to look? I know we had no idea who we were. I know I was in a different region. Did you even care at all? Or were you fine with just the one child? I, I'm sorry. I tried. I really tried. After reuniting with your sibling, I started looking again to see if I can find a sign of you too. But... I never sensed you at all, so... I assumed that whatever they wanted to do with both of you, maybe they like succeeded once and I wasn't going to see you again. And maybe I was afraid of what I might find. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't be blaming you like that. I didn't realize how much these feelings would bother me. The more I think about it, the more suffocating they get. They're starting to make me feel the same way about Huey growing more independent. And... I don't know what to do. Mewtwo was the one who made me see that. You have every right to feel upset. Both of you do. I failed you as a parent. I failed to protect you. And that led you to suffer so much. Instead of telling you the truth right away, I kept it to myself because I was afraid of how you would take it. I didn't try to pretend nothing was wrong. I was trying to cover up my failure. Just like you said, I was being selfish. I did this to you, and I am so sorry. You don't have to forgive me. <sighs> it's not like I'm in a position to judge considering what I once tried to do. And I, I shouldn't have blown up at you the way I did when I learned the truth. But what will you do now? Huh? With all of this finally out in the open, how do we go on from here? There isn't a reason for me to try and force myself into your life again. I think it's time I let you move on without me getting in the way. So, you're going to let us go again? You do. You said you never stopped thinking about me, but you plan on running off now. Are you going to leave her once more? Is that what you want? Of course that's not what I want. Well then. But is that what you want? You want me to be here with you? You're allowed to be happy, Mew. You don't have to keep punishing yourself over this. It would be a bit too peaceful without you here.
I was wondering where you'd gone earlier. You all right? It's a, a long story. I didn't know why I decided to follow them, but I did. Now, I don't know what to think. Mom was so sad. Kinda like she was back when she and uncle fought each other. And then when she talked to Mew, I had no idea she was going through that, Lucario. I was making her feel worse because I was leaving her out of stuff so much. I was such a jerk. She didn't want to tell me because she didn't want me to feel bad, but I do! It's okay to be more independent, though. That's why she didn't want to get in your way. I guess, but she doesn't deserve to hurt so much. All I know now is I never want to see Mom look that sad ever again. And I'll make sure of that. Huey. <sighs> I gotta go to bed. See you tomorrow. If you say so. Hmm? Oh? Is everything okay, Huey? I just thought it would be nice to sleep here tonight. Alright then. Huey? You've been growing up so fast. And so independent already. But I couldn't be prouder. Don't you forget that. Okay? I love you, sweet pea. Yeah. Love you too, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>